You can't do anything. There's nothing there. There's nothing else. There is nothing else to look for. There's nothing else to say we'll take that option. So you can't even, like... Where we got? Oh, look at this bad boy. Is this the future? That's the future. My God, look at the size of us. That is proper, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. Is that brand new? Brand new. Look at the Louis and Ireland. That is a fancy piece of kit, that, mate. Yeah. How much is that? 700, it's 690 altogether. 690? That's all right, isn't it? I'll have to go that later. <laughs> nice one, mate. I'll catch up with you later, right? Yeah. Maguire's in Hobbies. Shelly's just about to go live. How are you doing? You all right? Um, it's been a while, hasn't it? The last one did all right, didn't it? Numbers-wise, unbelievable. Thank you so much for everyone who took the time to watch it, and thank you very much so much for everyone who took the time to comment on it as well. That's, uh, it means a lot, it really does, thank you. And a couple of decisions have come out of there which I want to talk to you about today as well. Let's have a look, see where we are. Tenerife weather. They reckon we're going to get some rain, but possibly in the hills, I think. Possibly in the hills. There's only three things in my life, really, uh, that mean a lot to me, and that's family, uh, that's living, uh, where you live in, and you work. They're the, they're the three ones for me. Obviously, you've got your health, but I, I'm very... It's weird. I take health for granted because, touch wood, I don't really get ill. So I take my health for granted. But family, to me, is, uh, is really important. And with what's... That's a rubbish statement. Do you know what it is? Family is one of the most important things by far. But the thing is, from the last five years, due to the divorce, sometimes things are out of your control. And I've learned with family. In the beginning, I couldn't do. I tried to control everything. But now I've learned to just roll with it. And what, when you just roll with it, you just like, you react when things happen to you rather than trying to control the situation. Because when you try and control the situation, when you're in a divorce with kids, it's, uh, it'll drive you up the wall. So uh, that's the reason why I just roll with it more than anything else. So the family one is definitely a roll with it scenario. Last week when I mentioned about um, when's the right time to quit, I was regarding the work scenario, the work situation. And... Um, Again, what I was doing in essence for the two weeks was I was just rolling with it. And the reason why I was just rolling with it is because I knew that something might was going to unfold or hoping that something was about to unfold, uh, which has done as of two days ago. And um, But I wanted to give it a go just to see what... Uh, I wanted to try the Dick Rapper style to see, you know, it's more as an experiment and everything to see if it works. Short and tall of it of that one now is as of two days ago, I have actually become now the resident compere of Gigi's in Los Cristianos, which is uh, three doors up from Dylan's. I, uh, I sent a message to the owner of Dylan's uh, the, the moment I found out that I got the position, just to thank him really, just to say, look, out of respect, I feel the need that I need to uh, send you this message because uh, as of tomorrow, I'll be actually working three doors up from there. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for the opportunity you gave us. And she said, look, you know, Donna, fantastic. She said, look, I wish you all the best. And uh, we finished on an amicable uh, situation. So I'm very, very happy with that. And it's, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what, uh, what I can bring to Gigi's. Um, I've known Jack now for a couple of years. He's the owner of Chicago's as well. And his part ownership in the three, uh, with the three amigos in cases as well. It's a company that's moving forward. It's a company that's not resting on its laurels and they've got big ideas and big plans. And uh, that's what I'm really looking forward to, working with people who have that idea with them. So if you want to come and find me five nights a week, I'm down at, uh, I'm going to be at GG's in Los Cristianos on the Mirador Strip, which I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to. I think it's just to get, once I get myself settled in there. It's weird though, because uh, as I said, I had to just roll with it and wait for it to happen because GG closed down. Um, because they went through a refurb and the refurb oh. over here says look we're going to take 10 days for a refurb ends up taking like three weeks or whatever it was it's always the case but um, I just uh, had to roll with it and just wait for it and it's out of your hands and sometimes you want to dictate something and you want to dictate or control you want to control the narrative but you can't you just can't because it's out of your hands and the, as I said before just like family it used to really stress the hell out of me it used to really stress the hell out of me when, uh, when I couldn't control the narrative, because I, I think that's the sort of type of person that I am. I very want to get hold of it. I want to take control, sorting it, rather than just letting things just wash over you. But I think over the last four or five years, I think that's got better. The main one I want to talk to you about is actually, it's about the, the, the living 
scenario that we're with because that's the biggest one at the moment that we literally are literally just rolling with it the housing crisis in Tenerife is a real fact at the moment if you're watching this and you live in Tenerife and you are renting in Tenerife and you are stable renting Tenerife if you don't know how lucky you are you generally do not know how lucky you are because at the moment there is a shortage um, there is a website over here on Facebook called Kepasa she's Joe Lamb she's very respected on the island and she did a report on there and they said they, they reckon for accommodation that was uh, 700 euros or less I think there was only like two accommodations when you said out to nine euros uh, sorry 900 euros or less that then went up to like 10 accommodations available there's absolutely nothing and a friend of mine um, put on Facebook yesterday she went hi guys just let you know we have an, um, we, I know of an accommodation that's becoming available in a decky area at the end of March if anybody's interested just PM me within 15 minutes there was about 20 people on there 20 people had just jumped all over it within half an hour it had gone it had gone that's how bad it was that's how bad it is it's just like ridiculous one came available in uh, near Golthor Sur near the airport and uh, again 40 people commented on it before you know it it was gone it just ridiculous it just goes so fast it's just to a point where it's uh, it's crazy you just there's no, you can't find anything you cannot find anything so what happened was we were very fortunate you might have seen a vlog on the main channel we were very very fortunate to find um, the Finca that's uh, out in Gia de Azora, uh, which I've seen the pictures of and it's uh, it's beautiful it's really really nice um, the problem that you've got is now even when you think I'll talk about buying in a second but even when you're renting you're actually in a chain believe it or not you're in a chain on a rent and you're in the hands of other people there's a certain law over here that they've got what's called a squatter's right law which is once you're in they can't get you out and um, so you know it's actually in the hands of the, the person that's living there the power is is not actually with the owner of the uh, owner of the, the, um, the property anyway so it's like protection for the people that are uh, actually living there there's certain protections which we've got as well where we're living but we don't want to abuse that situation with our t uh, landlords because uh, they're, you know they're nice people and plus I don't think we're that sort of person people so the idea the one in gear was all going well and the owner we're in great contact with him he's a guy from Sunderland um, he's been on the island 16 years everyone says he's genuine which I believe and he said yeah no problem at all he said we've got this place in gear and um, it's going to be available from the 20th of February so we thought champion so he said yeah 20th of Feb no problem at all 20th of Feb comes around he's like you've asked for an extension and you can't say no he can't say no you're in their hands and there's nowhere else let me put that on then there's nowhere else so you can't say no so what happened then was um, he said yeah the extension till the end of the month so that's the 28th 29th it's only nine more days and we said yeah no problem at all so we wait for that then that time comes and that time passes then it turns out what they've got is they've got an issue trying to get into their new accommodation that's what the story is at first we were thinking all sorts of stories but the story turns out is that they've got an issue trying to get into their accommodation hence the reason why they're not moving out the accommodation that we want to get into so now we're on Thursday, Hoppy's Thursday, I'm going to go live at Hoppy's in a minute. We've been told now that they're handing the keys back tomorrow on the Friday. And then sometimes you go, yeah, but what if they don't hand the keys back? But the answer there is, well, what can you do? You can't do anything, there's nothing there, there's nothing else. There is nothing else to look for, there's nothing else to say we'll take that option. So you can't even, like, you can't even say to the owner, well, listen, if you don't do it, we're going to go elsewhere, because there's nothing else. Yeah, yeah, I know, this is just uh, future me interrupting past me because past me's forgotten a few things that I think need to be said. So I thought about it and I thought, well, if future me steps in, now he can tell it. Past me was too busy, if you watch in a minute, he's too busy, his eyes started hurting off the sun to a point where he actually tries to reach for his, uh, reach for his uh, sunglasses, which I don't normally wear sunglasses on film. 
find that a bit rude. So uh, future me thought he'd step in and talk about a couple more things he wanted to mention. Some people will ask, if the housing crisis is that bad, why don't you buy? It's a very good point, very good point. Five years ago, I got divorced and I still have a house in the UK. So I've still got capital tied up in the UK. Housing over here, the prices of the housing to buy has gone through the roof, so much so. So we downsized my mother into a small house. But so much so now that the, uh, the house is now worth double its price in the last five years, which is crazy. The house we're living in is up for sale, as you know. And the owner has put it on the market for the reason of 350,000, which is a lot of money, to be honest with you, a lot of money. But if you say that means we're used to living in that sort of property, even if you say, look, we used to live in a property worth 200,000. The problem that you've got here is you'll need at least a 30% deposit for mortgages over here at the moment. So when you think about that on a 200,000 pound property, that's in the region of 60,000 plus just to get a property, which is crazy. I just don't have that, I don't have that capital in the last, uh, because of the last five years of what's happened in the last five years. So that's the first issue. The second issue is what's causing this? What's causing this shortage? Well, the main thing that's causing the shortage is um, a lot of the old houses. Roll up. Don't eat it. A lot of the old houses have um, been changed from long-term rental into Airbnb. So on complexes which are normally resident complexes, where well, you're not allowed to do Airbnb, people are doing Airbnb. And that's causing a big issue, not just for people like myself who are living here, but also for the uh, roll up, but also for the uh, workers who work in the towns as well. So there's quite a few issues at the moment. We have to wait for a bubble to burst and it has to burst. I can't see it. I can't see it sustaining. I really can't. So uh, once that bubble has burst, hopefully then we can be back to normal to the way it, uh, to the way it should be. Anyway, that's enough from me. Back to past me. Have a look at his eyes now when he finishes off, honestly. Past Rick, just like, his eyes are stinging from the sun because he thinks facing the sun will give him a better picture and the, the backdrop for you guys, but his eyes were stinging too much. Back to past Rick. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in a bit. We're just lucky that we've got uh, understanding uh, tenants, are, sorry, understanding landlords ourselves that... Uh, that are okay with us and they realize that we're doing our best to try and get out of it but the whole point of this vlog was five years ago this would be stressing me off the charts to the point of almost heart attack panic attack anxiety attack level not really heart attack but you know what i mean it really this would really get to me whereas now you've just got to roll with it you've just got to roll with it we used to say it's a joke so yes it is what it is. That's pretty much what it translates. Not quite, but pretty much S-O-C-K-S. It translates to into, um, in uh, Spanish. Um, and that is literally a saying in, on the island that everybody uses. Well, it's Tenerife. It is what it is. And that's the scenario we're in at the moment. So sometimes if you're in a situation that you are desperately trying to control the narrative and it might be stressing you out a little bit, why don't you just stop for a second and just let it roll with it and just let it wash over you? Because what is going to happen is going to happen anyway. It's irrelevant. It's, 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 it's irrelevant how you feel about it. It will happen. And just let it roll over you and just go with it. What's the worst that can happen? That's what I think anyway. That's what I think. As always, the views are incredible, but the subscription needs to get up. We need to get that count up. The reason I need that count up is because YouTube will then start pushing out to more people and it might reach people that might help, okay? I'm going to have to stop this one because my eyes really want to close. I really need to put my glasses on because it's a bright day today. Enjoy your day wherever you are, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. All the best. Cheers.